a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Another Zeneca Rising Japanese set booster, this time sponsored by Chris M. Thank you, Chris M. All right, let's get to it. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, we've opened, uh, what, uh, this is video number four. Um, you know, just doing a little bit of math on the, the singles, we're doing pretty well. Uh, of course, it does help when you get cards from the list. It does help when your, your <laughs> expedition is scalding tarn. I looked at that price. I mean, that thing is selling for, it was 9,000 yen at the time. So, take a peek at the video. Put the, I'll put it in the eye of the last one that we opened for uh, Furnace Dragon. Um, once again, we do have a box hopper. So, nice, nice. All right. I'm going to take all the packs out of this time. Have a clear, cleaner little purview. All right. And then look, let's get to it. Okay. Packaroonies unlocked. Here we go. Oh, that was the light, by the way. I forgot to turn it on earlier. Forgot to turn it on for the other video, too. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Let's figure out our pattern. We got our art card. All right. Full art land, we can put it to the side. And boom. Oops, boom. Oh wow, okay. Straight there, we got a mythic. Ooh, and a foil blood beckoning. Okay. Uh, Ancient Green Warden, of course, is one of the nicer mythics that we can pull. So, congrats. On to pack two, of course. Ooh. I don't know what, I don't care what people say. I think the, 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 the art cards are gorgeous and great, and I'm really happy to have them, so. That's gonna be my stance forever. All right, here we go. Okay, got a little pathway rare, and a foil rare, all right, pretty early foil rare, nice. On to the next, on to the next. You know what, let's uh, move that back a little, move these down a little, create some more real estate to show off the pulls. All right, here we go. Okay, here is Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay. All right, and our comms and uncommons. Here we go. We have our Cargan Intimidator, Zygrass. Cut. Z whoa, whoa, whoa. And a Thought Vessel. Just when you thought that it couldn't be reprinted again because it was already a Mystery Booster. <laughs> I wonder if this will be considered Mystery Booster or the list. Kind of confusing. How can we tell which one it is from? Hmm. Eats me. All right, on to the next. I'm genuinely curious because it was definitely reprinted. Ooh, a sign card. All right. Nice. Got that earlier than than usual. And our commons and uncommons. Ah, oh, the art in this card is so funny. All right, here we go. Magmatic channeler and a foil. Stone dude, stone work man. All right, all right, and we keep going. So what I've learned are that uh, these boxes are actually surprisingly good value. Um, and I think maybe it's a surprise because I've heard so many people talk so down. Of, wow, foil, Japanese showcase, Morag, <laughs> Fury of Akum. I mean, this thing is probably worth some pesos, you know? Let's leave it up. See how it goes. All right, on to the next. Uh, partially, the EV is just because these list cards are. There's a lot of good hits actually. Like I thought, I thought you know we'd see Anointer Priests every now and then, every other pack, but we have seen some pretty darn good hits. Tabarax, foil. All right. Um, and well. I'm really glad you guys are sponsoring because, well, it's nice to pull good stuff for you guys. You know? It's really nice. Ooh, another Omnath. The signed Omnath card must be actually worth something, you know? Here we go. Use it as a proxy. Duplicate Mythic here. Ancient Green Warden again. All right, so that's the second Ancient Green Warden. A foil and, oh my gosh, I love this card. I see this card in cubes all the time. And uh, there's a new Grave Robber, so you exile stuff in someone's graveyard and no cards are in that graveyard, you can flip and you get uh, Night Eyes the Desecrator, which is actually a very, very cool card. It's actually one of my favorite cards ever. Didn't realize it was put in the list. Ah, beautiful. All right, 
On to the next. Of course, I don't like I I I looked at every single card in the list already, twice, and I already forgot, like half of them. Another Jace, beautiful, good little proxy for Jace, you know, in case you can't actually afford the real Jace. Though the real Jace is actually not that expensive. All right, Another foil. On to the next. Okay, here we go. Alright, got a foil island, second foil basic land, and, oh, skip the rare there, okay, rare, rare, foil cleric, card's so good, alright, on to the next, getting to life is actually super relevant in this draft format, guys, I'm ready for it, this is another list card, I'm not going to be surprised this time, not going to, Grackmaw. And list, Inventor's Fair. Okay, all right. Not a bulk rare. Better than a bulk rare for sure. Better than a bulk rare for sure. All right, token. Okay, got that cleric again. And here we are. A Valakut's Awakening and a foil rare. You know what I realized now, now that I think about it more? You know one way they could make set boosters better? is if they just cancel collector boosters. <laughs> if collector boosters are not a thing, because now that I realize that I think, um, like I had some people on my channel who uh, weren't so happy with the collect the set boosters, um, but we opened a lot of collector boosters before set boosters became like readily available. And you know, like if that's all you've seen in your entire life of pack opening, um, set boosters are gonna be boring. And I think that's just, that's just the reality of the thing. Set boosters are like half the price of collector boosters, you know? So <laughs> the fact that, you know, that they're not as exciting, that that is intentional. Um, maybe, maybe wizards can do something like a, like only 20 packs and each pack has like literally just like five cards. Like, like that's like very Pokemon-esque, I, I think. Um, but like every card is exciting. You know, like that, that would be something I'd be down for because one of the things as a pack opener that always, uh, is a big deal is a big time suck is gosh, darn every box opening. I do like this. There are a lot of commons and uncommons <laughs> and they're not worth much. In fact, most of the time it costs me more money to ship them than they're actually worth. And you know, that's just the reality of being an internet online box breaker. Um, I could, uh, of course, say that, hey, look, I'm not going to include the commons on commons. And occasionally I do ask. There are some people I know who don't care for them. Um, but I always think, hey, that's a spicy one. Japanese Omnath. Um, I always think, hey, a Lotus Cobra and a Hagra Mauling. All right, got a triple. Got a triple in there. I always think, hey, like, you know, I, I believe that... Um, I believe, hey, we got another sign card. Ghostly, all right, two sign cards. Interesting, those are the two sign cards um, from our last, from our very first box opening, now that I think about it. Uh, I, I'm a big believer that, uh, that the, you know, the product that we open these days, they're all good, but I would love for there just to be less commons and uncommons in products that, that are designed to be cracked, you know? Okay. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer as our uh, the list card. This card is actually seen play in some cubes, like not as the most powerful card. Definitely EDH playable because it has Cascade and you can return to your hand to Cascade again. So nice little value engine there. Put that in there and give it a sleeve. I'll look up what the price is. I don't think it's worth that much, but still super sweet. All right, we have Social Colonnade. All right. So, yep, that's just my thoughts. No, I've, I've, ooh, a little pathway action here. All right. Lava Glide pathway. One of the favorites of a lot of people. All right. This might be a cubable card too. Field Research, Foil Japanese. I guess if it's Japanese, it might not be that cubable uh, for a lot of people because, you know, if you don't know what the card does, but it's a sweet card. All right, here we go. Another art card, Full Art Lands. Commons and uncommons. Oops. 
Got a rare Tabrax, Relic Robber, Foil. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts? Your, what are your guys' thoughts? Because, like, I opened these collect uh, set boosters and I'm like, hmm. You know, part of it is, oh, you know, uh, hey, Wasteland by Adam Paquette. It is nice. And I'll foil land again. It is nice to get commons and uncommons for those who are just trying to jumpstart their collection. And maybe that's an audience that I'm not. Hey, a man of war. Nice little throwback. That I'm not, like, exactly uh, doing a good job um, representing or just a good job facilitating and, 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 and thinking about. Um, but, you know, I've opened a million of these. So I, I get to that point where I'm like, ah, so many commons. Look at it. That pile of uncommons right there. Look at this. We're not even done with the box. Gotta ship it all. You know, it's just like, I would love there to be less, you know. And you'll see me open some uh, some Pokemon. You'll get the idea of what I mean. All right, we have a list card. We have Gem Palm Polluter. I do like the direction. Um, I do think that they need to like, like the list, like literally, I want like 250 cards to cycle out every time. Like I want it to be a different experience for the next set, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm also curious how they're going to incorporate the list into the next set. Will there be set boosters? Who knows? Hey, another list card. What is this? Vanguard of Brimaz. Oh my gosh, I totally did not even realize this card existed. I didn't realize it's a Born of the Gods card with Heroic. And you, whenever you target it, you can make a little 1-1 Vigilance. That is so new to me. I didn't even realize this card ever existed. And I played a lot of... Uh, Theros during that set. Was that even a, a, a like a card you could draft? Like or was it just in uh um like some type of ancillary product? That is really new to me. I gotta look that up. Alright. Scourge of the Sky Cleaves. Nice little art card. And a foil forest. So we have one foil of every single uh basic land. That's super cool. That's super cool. Another mythic tyrant, leyline tyrant, rare, foil warrior, and a token. All right, on to the last few packs. Here we go. Got a Swamparoo. Basic land. Hello, Jerby. And onto inversion and a foil rising climb something together. Yahoo. Can't speak Japanese. Cards like that confuse me. Sorry, world. All right, on to the next. Here we go. Bright Claim Pathway, Basic Land, and Inscription. Okay. The Foil Cat. It's so weird. That cat literally reminds me of the Step Lion. Uh, yet it is a 0, a 2 1, and a 2 3 only on your turn. So it's not even an aggressive attacker. That card really confuses me. I feel like it should be like a 2 3 on your turn or something so that you can attack profitably with it. But, you know. I don't know. I don't design the game. I just opened the packs. Here we are. And we have another Mythic Agadims. All right. All right. And okay, so that's a double Mythic, or double rare in a Mythic um, pack. Yeah. That is, like, what else could you ask for? Oh, I was at uh, my local Target today. Uh, I checked on the uh, bundles because, like, you know, like, Target's all have bundles. Walmart's have bundles. Local stores have none. And it's the most frustrating thing ever. Whoa, that's such a cool one. A Necra Volver. Okay. Wow, it's a rare from an apocalypse with two types of kicker. I'm gonna give it a sleeve. I don't care if it's not worth anything. This is this is a nice little throwback. Nice little throwback. Alright, three more packs left. And uh, you know the weird thing is uh these set boosters, like wizards said they would be print they would be more expensive than draft boosters, but at Target, they're both $4.19 for me. So, take that for what it's worth. Got another Foil Rare, another Coral Helm. All right. And two more packs left. Here we are. Nissa. All right. Pedru. Foil. All right. And the last pack. Yeah, so it does surprise me that they're like priced the same at, at, at big box stores. Um, I wonder why that is because Wizards like were pretty explicit that it should be like about a dollar more expensive. And at the time I was thinking, I was a little skeptical about a dollar and I was like, 
I don't know if it truly should be a dollar more expensive. Like, this stuff is not... Like, booster packs... Like, a dollar is a ginormous uh, margin, you know? For, like, a $3, $4 product. It's, like, a 25%, 33% more price. Um, so, I'm not surprised that they're similar, but the same? That's weird. Boom! Hey, still a fetch land. Not too bad. I would have foothills. All right. Beautiful. That's the box for Chris M. Thank you so much for sponsoring. And guys, I'll see you. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, what am I seeing? Okay, well, let's count the list cards. Do that. We have two art cards this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? Okay, so seven. Seven. No, no, eight cards on the list. One of each foil basic land. Uh, and quickly on the rare count. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-eight 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 38 rares four of them being foil uh five mythics 38 38 rares four of them being foil uh five mythics six mythics rather and including the four of them being foil uh five mythics including a foil showcase uh 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 including a foil showcase uh